I'm back one more time. I've worked on this, and hopefully if you watch the video that precedes this one, you'll see this from the a, a more of a beginning stage. So you can see the background. There are a lot of overlays with slashes or dots, smaller strokes. Uh, same thing with the shirt, the flesh I've really tried to develop with the light side, transitioning to shadow, some purples, uh, lighter colors, are very skimpy about where I have extreme lights. But I'm trying to get that that kind of surface quality of something moving, something shimmering, uh, similar to what we're seeing in the pointillas. But it's fun. I think this is an interesting way of working. Just stick to darks, work darks to light, dark to light. And the whole idea of cross contour, it, and this is similar to what you'll do in drawing, where you're using marks to define the surface of an object. So if it's flat, it can remain flat. But if it's curved, this is where, and this is where I would again look at Van Gogh and those examples I sent you. Look at the uh, the way the brush stroke conforms to explaining the surface. If it rises, if it falls, if it goes in, if it goes out. And that's the whole idea of cross contour. The, the mark is used to describe the topography or the surface of the object it's painting or trying to depict in, in the painting. So this could probably be developed even further, but I think at least at this stage and hopefully at this quality, you can get a better idea of where it started, where it's at now, and hopefully you can get a better grasp for your paintings. Thanks.